What's up folks, R. Smokey here for Pop Nerd TV. We're bringing you a review of Gears of War 4. Unfortunately, I'm just now getting to this game. Uh, it's been pretty hectic here at the office trying to get everything together. Um, luckily, I was able to get into some of the multiplayer and I did get to do the campaign with the lovely and powerful Ninja Fire Truck. Now, I gotta say, Gears of War 4 is really coming in hard this time. And when I say coming in hard, I mean in a good way, as it's offering up new game modes like the one you're watching right now, which is known as Guardian. There's another one called Arms Race, and a couple other different things they've added in as well. Um, the executions this time are a thousand times more brutal. Uh, there are some issues and some discrepancies when it comes to shot registration, but that's something that you can't really chalk up to coding as much as it is connection, because that's the truth. When it comes down to it, connection will determine a lot of, uh, of what goes on in the game itself. So if you get stuck against a foreign team, unfortunately, you're going to be suffering one way or another. Now, this is something i got to admit I love. is just the way they actually implement the gore this time. It's a lot more brutal. <laughs> they don't cut back, as you can see, with all the blood that we just saw right now. Uh, the movement itself can be a little bit hectic. The people who've played Gears before will get a nice little you know, throwback when it comes down to it. Uh, if you're new to the Gears franchise, I highly recommend going into Horde mode and practicing in there as you'll be able to start learning how to wall bounce. Wall bouncing is basically a quick way to close a gap between yourself and an opponent as well as, you know, evade shots, which is a major thing, especially if somebody's coming at you with a nausea or trying to tear you down with a, with a lancer. It's going to be very prudent for you to be able to move. Um, cover is always going to be one of the best things about this. We only ever experienced cover issues when it came down to the campaign. The multiplayer itself, we barely, barely had any issues when it came down to the cover system. Um, as you can see, fluidity is something that you have to have. You've got to be able to move, folks. So make sure you're constantly moving around and make sure you're constantly checking out what's in your surrounding. Now, moving on to the campaign itself, we find ourselves with protagonist JD Phoenix at this point. There is a prologue to it. I don't want to spoil anything about the prologue itself. But I have to say that it is actually pretty awesome that they included that. It was a nice touching moment to get reunited with this character. Um, the main story itself takes 25 years after the Locust Wars. And you're actually facing off at the start against Prime Minister Jin, who's accusing you of doing something very bad. I won't say exactly what, but she's accusing you of it. And so therefore you have to face off against her robots known as DBs, who I believe sound kind of like a toned down Ultron. Um, there is, of course, a swarm. You're already aware of them, so I can speak about that. I won't tell you exactly who the swarm are or what they are, but just know that it is kind of a twist when it comes down to it. Of course, you're going to get to meet Marcus Phoenix, JD's dad, later on down the road and everything like that. There are some extremely touching moments. There's some heartbreaking moments. It really does captivate you, especially when you start getting into the second arc of the story. Um, I have to say that... This is ha this has to be one of the best campaigns I've played in a long, long time. The last great campaign that I played was actually Titanfall 2, so make sure you give that a check out as well. The Coalition really went above and beyond, so I have to thank them. Insane mode is actually what it sounds like, insane. In just a moment, you're going to be able to witness some of it. There's going to be a mini montage dedicated to all the deaths that we experienced in insane mode, and it's coming up in just a moment. So make sure you check that out, make sure you finish up reading the review, and check out the final score down at the bottom and my final thoughts. Thank you. Stay cool, baby! Stand up. All right. 
Stay cool, baby. 